Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about introduction to direct capture of objective. Direct capture of objective DCO is a suit of tools process of capturing the information about business process that will be used to build an application. There are three primary DCO tools which we will be discussed about today. First one is application profiler. Second is application accelerator. And third is application documentation wizard. Application Profiler is used to capture high level information about the application such as work types, atomic use cases and interface. It creates a special work item called AP. Uh, that's the same application profile. AP used by the application accelerator to generate the start point of the application. Generally the information which we create in the application profiler is going to be used by the application accelerator. Application profile document is used to print version of the AP. Application profile uh, contains 8 steps. First one is overview. Overview usually contains the business objective of the particular project or assignment which we are going to make. Second is create process. Create process uh, includes uh, process discovery map, making use cases, And third is interfaces. Interfaces includes integration to DB or third party or different another source like SOAP, EJB and FN. And fourth is reporting. Reporting includes category of the report or complexity of the report and uh, things like that. And fifth is correspondence. Correspondence is like uh, uh, the information which which we need to send to the third party uh, through the email, fax, phone. And six is assumptions. And seventh is participants. Eighth is project explorer. We'll discuss about these three in further details and subsequent tutorials. So, as I told you about eight process. First is like overview, which is the first one, and second is create process, interface, reporting, correspondence, assumptions, participants, and project explorer. Let's discuss about about these in details. First one is create process. As I already told, that create process include process discovery map, making use cases. Process discovery map capture manual and automation steps in the process. Cap steps are organized in primary and alternative path and can be grouped in sub process to reduce complexity and reuse. When you start working on it, you'll get to know about <coughs> how to uh, make a subgroups, how to uh, how to make a sub process and alternative path. Uh, and the best of thing is uh, like these maps are color coded. Uh, like yellow one is used for the automated automated process it means like this uh, this step or this process will uh, complete by itself it's a, a system process and uh, whereas green and blue are human driven like it should be uh, uh, resolved by the human like system uh, like uh, HR human resource and second one is interface 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 includes con connection to external data sources as I already told like uh, if we want to connect to uh, like uh, uh, EJB, SOAP and other different sources, third party sources then we, we need to dis uh, declare everything in interfaces as like we can see example over here also like integrating to third party like query credit score like to get the credit score uh, we are connecting to the SOAP, we, uh, uh, SOAP protocol and third is reporting reporting uh, includes ca uh, category of the report complexity of the report and description what the report is going to be do go going to do Fourth is correspondence. Correspondence is like sending notification through email, fax, or phone to a uh, 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 corresponding person like loan officer in case of auto loan request. Here we can see example like 
notify loan or like we are sending our corner so notify loan officer and send the description like notify the loan officer that a loan request requires additional approval things like that so we can send these uh, correspondence through email fax and other many of uh, things and fifth is assumptions assumption uh, generally includes uh, like assumption like we are going to use in the project itself and sixth is participants participants as it already saying estimated resources need to implement project uh, like uh, human resource or as I already told system driven processes like so we are going to uh, declare everything in the participants seventh is project explorer project explorer uh, gives you the whole overview of the uh, application profiler what you make in, in the profile in the in the first step itself uh, like in the mortgage and we can see in the mortgage like we have work type <coughs> which having uh, for the use cases which we make in process discovery map <coughs> and now uh, apart from these there are uh, certain other things which we are going to declare while making application profiler first one is the actor actor is the entity that performs the task as a part of the process generally we have actors like uh, human resource as I already told system uh, system so we are going to declare everything over here like HR staff manager hiring manager and system and further it's atomic use uh, it's a use case represent information about specific task specific task that information uh, what task we are going to do uh, generally at only use cases define this it should be small and granular as it's saying at only use case defined for single work type and executed by single actor yes of course it's process by the like HR staff manager or system or a hiring manager work type work type is a template of the work that is to be performed work types are instantiated into work items which are then processed and resolved work types are associated with one or more atomic use cases I uh, will we'll, discuss about work types in further tutorials more Supporting type is similar to work type except it does not instantiate into work item. Other application profiler functionality like actors, delegates, documents, security, package, save and withdraw. Now over here you can see some yellow color. It's actually a CSA question. Like application exp uh, express use to quickly prototype a uh, application without get down into details of use case and requirements. It used to help understand the process of application development. Actually, application express is uh, used for modeling the use cases without uh, anything, without uh, making any rules. So this one is the CSA question and over here it's also CSA question development team when uh, uh, development team start working like development person start working on the application accelerator so it's after the application accelerator like when application after application profiler and application accelerator developer is going to start work on it now we will talk about application accelerator it's a, uh, it's a second type of TCO tool which I talked earlier application accelerator automates the creation of an application foundation application accelerator captures details about the implementation used to create basic elements such as class structure, draft flows and correspondence rules it generally uh, used by the senior or lead system architect application accelerator includes selection of profile existing a new one implementation name version it also includes base and rule set like for example credit framework and many other organization and the reason 
so everything includes an application acceleration overview and after this uh, we have further process in application accelerator like create process include which includes creation of models in process discovery map general uh, we already if we do this step in the application profiler then we no need to worry about the step over here but if we want to modify we can modify over here class structure class structure allow to group different work type under shared layer also helping reusing rules reporting summary or list type of report specific report should apply to work type to shared layer or to assignment generally uh, reporting includes all these things how have to like how uh, it start working correspondence types of correspondence as i already told there are four types of correspondence email fax mail and phone text like sms rules we can specify one of the standard rules such as operator manager or interested and associated each role with one of the human actor specified in the application profiler project explorer this step is similar to application profiler allows to review modify or delete work types use case and requirements 